Come, we give all praises and honor and glory to your how by Shimmy our shy double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone peace and shalom off to the elect. It's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe in sincerity and the truth for the edification of the house of Dawah Dada, Dada, hopefully elect. We do these lessons. Shalom to you real quick. You know, just on my mind, um that you know when you look at these scriptures in the state of our people something is not jiving something is not connecting with the bulk of our people um they don't understand the prophecy they don't they totally disregard the words of yahweh yahweh being his only uh, yahweh being the heavenly father and yahweh shai being his only begotten son they disregard the words of yahweh bashim yahweh shai totally where with that the case when you totally disregard the words of prophecy and the understanding of the words through faith you miss the whole boat you hiss, you miss the whole thing you're done if you don't believe in the Lord you're already dead this is why the state of our people look the way it does and is not in connection with the Holy Scriptures. When we read the Holy Scriptures, like here, Proverbs, the fifth chapter, when we read Proverbs, it says, my son, talking about the men of Israel, my son. This is coming from the Heavenly Father when he's saying he's your father, you're his son. What does a father do for his son? He gives them he gives him the instructions that is needed for him to get from birth to life. If you understand it, birth to life. Because everyone is born, but are they destined for life? And the life that I'm speaking of and the life that the scriptures are speaking of is life eternal. Eternal life where you live forever. This is the understanding of the scriptures. This is why he says, my son, attend unto my wisdom. Attend unto my words. The words is written in a book. You cannot attend to wisdom if you're not reading the book. It says, and bow thy ear to understand it. When you bow your ear, right, you are submitting yourself to the words and the understanding of the book because he's going to whisper in your ear. And if you got noise around you, you're not going to hear him. It says, reading on, it says, that thou may regard discretion. Discretion is judgment. This is how you judge a matter. Judge the matter. Judge many matters. Because they're going to come upon you in this thing called life. When you need to judge the situation. When you need to judge where you at, how to get out the jam, how to obtain certain uh, aspects in life to, for your betterment. You need to be a discerning person, a discerning man who submits themselves to the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. It says, and that thou make, and that, that thou lips may keep knowledge. This is the most important thing because you can read the words, but if your lips don't keep the knowledge, which means speak them into existence, the good aspects of life, the good aspects of the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Shai, you won't receive the knowledge. The knowledge must be spoken and the spoken words come to life. 
for the lips of a strange woman. And this is not talking about if you're a so-called African-American, you're talking about an East Indian woman or a woman of Cambodia. No, this strange woman is a wisdom. This strange woman is a wisdom outside of the words of the Heavenly Father. Something that's strange to you, and when you look it up in the Hebrew, is nakah, which means foreign. The words from another woman, quote unquote, is foreign to you because the words that you need to adhere to is the scriptures. So she's foreign to you. The other doctrines, the other philosophies. And this is why you need to keep the knowledge and use discretion to know what's right and what's wrong. And it says, her lips drop as a honeycomb. Yeah, it sounds sweet. It sounds like the way to go. It says, and her mouth is smoother than oil. What does oil do? Oil grieves the tracks. Oil makes things smooth. And you're going to slip right into a slippery slope to destruction. Because it says her end, verse 4, her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Coming and going when you deal with this strange woman. This is not for you. This is not for the elect. This is not for the nation of Israel. Strange women, strange philosophies, wayward doctrines, because wayward doctrines can't hold water. It has holes in it. It has leaks, and it doesn't give you answers. All it do is generate more and more questions. We're looking for answers. We're too late in the game to be trying to figure things out. We either know or don't know at this point in time. There's no time. There is no time to be figuring it out. We've had our time. There's no more time left. You see, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to end it up with this scripture. I'm going to end it up with this scripture. This is uh, 2 Judges 15 and 1. It says, behold, speak. This is what you're supposed This is where the knowledge lies. It says, speak. Thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. No need to read no more, but we're going to read more. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That incredulity is the unfaithfulness. This is why they come up with way with doctrines. That speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Point blank period. We're going to give all praise and honor to, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Peace and shalom.